my next guest is one of my favourite people in the whole world. I haven't spoken to him in a couple of months, but um, I'm glad that he's here today. It's LA Prosper. Roz, how are you doing? Very well. Thank you so much for coming today. I really appreciate you giving up your time. And Roz, you know I wouldn't miss you. this for the world. I miss you. <laughs> it's been it's been a few months, hasn't it been? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. what have you been up to? Anything exciting? Well, just growing my girls and losing my hair. So yeah, I everything... noticed you've lost your hair. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> it's all catching up, Rose. It's all catching up. And um, yeah, but it's it's been a fantastic uh, 2023. Um, everything has been sort of according to plan as, as of now. Business is growing. The girls are doing well. So yeah, I'm really happy to be here. How have you been? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm well. My I'm health wise, I've been really good this this year. Touchwood, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, but other than that, it's a few other challenges. But you know, I'm working through them, and they're all good. Hey, we're here to leave. We're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. And you're already doing all of the three. So yeah, <laughs> thanks. Now a little bit about my great friend Prosper here. He is a digital marketing online visibility consultant. And he has over 10 years of experience advising his clients on successfully generating awareness, demand and growth. And while he works with all kinds of businesses, his passion is helping entrepreneurial experts and expert firms amplify their authority, increase their exposure and grow their businesses. And Prost is going to be talking about create diverse recurring revenue streams to skyrocket your profitability and prosper's saying is and what is it now i can't remember <laughs> something about profit <laughs> <laughs> oh there's the, this great quote and now i can't remember it isn't it oh uh, there's 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 so much rose but i well you know every time you get me when you um you know talk talk about the stuff that i've done and where i've been and things of that nature but i really Really appreciate what you're doing for your community at large. And uh, yeah, I just hope we're going to have fun today. We absolutely are. Prosper, you had a gift that you were offering our guests today. Yes, yes. So we're going to be offering our 90-day business blueprint. So obviously with the things that I'm going to be talking about, um, which is generally helping you create recurring revenue streams so that you never have to uh, go through what we went through in the last couple of years. Um, you know, <laughs> when the pandemic hit, a lot of people didn't know where to start because everything had seemed to be, um, you know, a okay in terms of businesses. And as, as of yesterday or um, last week, I'm not quite sure, a bank, a bank, actually, you know, uh, got shut down in America. So we really need to start looking at how can we create multiple uh, streams of income based on what it is that we're already doing, based on the connections that we already have, and actually uh, the more contribution that we are doing out there. Otherwise, um, I think according to, uh, was it Warren Buffett? He said, if you are not creating income while you sleep, you will definitely be working the rest of your life. And with the way things are going on these days, you can't be everywhere um, at any given moment. And I'm just going to be giving out a few of the tidbits of how you can literally start creating diverse recurring revenue streams so you can increase your profitability. Well, Prospect, the floor is yours. Uh, oh, I thought I had the screen. So I had You've got put... the screen as well. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't put my slides on the ground, so it's absolutely amazing. So Thank I really so appreciate. Much. Thank you so much for your um for your reminder that um yes yeah, screens and floors quite aren't aren't quite the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Well, but Rose, I want to start off by really thanking you first of all for something that you don't realize that you're doing. The tenacity that you've had with, um, you know, your business since the first time we spoke, 
up until now, you are obviously out there creating for and relating to your audience. That shows a lot of resilience. That shows a lot of uh, love for what it is that you're doing. Even though the last time I spoke to you, you didn't sort of uh, have the best of health, but now you're smiling and everything else is fine. So I just really wanted to thank you for everything that you're doing for your audience. They might not realize this, but the content that you're creating for them, the experts that you're putting together is stuff that they would have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars, um, you know, when, when it comes to actually acquiring this information. So on behalf of everybody that's going to watch this or is watching this right now, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, Prosper. Thank you so much. You're always so kind to me and I and I absolutely love you for it. You, you brighten my day every time I speak, speak with you. <laughs> Hey, I because if you're not doing the right things, nobody was going to show up to this. So you can see the vast amount of people that you have uh, brought together and things of that nature. So without further ado, am I allowed to share you my screen? Right. Yep. OK, so you see, technology is not one of my biggest forte. It's quite surprising me being a digital marketer. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Prosper. Absolutely. All right. How do we take this off now? You're the one that knows these things. Take what off, my darling? Oh, okay. I've done it. I've done it. Okay. okay. So um, as um, the topic suggests, we're going to be talking about creating diverse recurring revenue streams. And I really want to welcome everybody else who's watching here. And like I say, Rose, Rose has been uh, pivotal in the growth of my business. And I really wanted to sort of give back. So we're going to be exploring, um, you know, a topic that's at the minds of every business owner and entrepreneur out there. How do I skyrocket my profitability? You see, there are a lot of strategies and tactics out there and, um, you know, where you can actually achieve this goal. But one approach that really stands out above the rest is to try and make do with what you already have. Have. So you're not trying to reinvent the wheel. If you're an accountant, you just look at what products do I already have that are going to be, um, you know, needed by my customers. See, I was just talking to an accountant before I jumped on this call and they were telling me that all they do is compliance and, um, you know, GST um, compliance for their clients, right? So our goal as business people is to find more time and more freedom to do everything that we absolutely love. The last thing that we need is to just be compliant with the ATO. That doesn't put money or food on our tables, all right? So we want our accountants to hold our hands and show us what is possible. We want our accountants to show us what else we can do with the money that we are Earning. So that's the reason why if you create diverse recurring revenue streams within your business, you will be actually able to help your clients want more, be more and have more. And you no longer have to go out there and spray and pray with your marketing. So if you establish um, a lot more revenue streams within your business, it actually starts providing you consistent and pred uh, predictable sources of income. And you can actually take your business to the next level while you're actually achieving greater finance. So I want you to be looking at the strategies that I'm putting out there. Look at how can you actually implement them within your business? And if not, how can you actually start working towards implementing them? Because there's no point in watching this and not actually taking any action, all right? There's going to be a lot of presentations. You're going to be tired by the end of the day, but please take note that if you're not creating income while you sleep, you're going to be working for the rest of your life. So in this presentation, I'm going to dwell into a few of the strategies and techniques that are just on the surface that you can start using today if you actually start paying attention so you can create those revenue streams and unlock your business full potential and um, create for and relate to the people that actually want, um, you know, stuff from me. Okay, so I'm also going to put out a disclaimer out there that this is not a, um, um, you know, a get rich quick scheme that I'm purporting here. I'm really um, one of those people that are working within their business as well so that I can create that revenue for myself. So you might be wondering, who is talking and why should I care? As you can see on the screen there, I'm a digital uh, marketing strategist and I literally um, I wear too many hats within my business. But one thing that I have managed to do 
is I've managed to teach myself how to actually survive in the first world. You see, I was born in Africa and basically from a small town in, in, in Zimbabwe, growing up for us was pretty tough. You know, we didn't have a lot of money and there was not a lot of role models to look up to. And that's the reason why I really, really respect what Rose is doing, because she's becoming a role model for a lot more other people that don't have an opportunity for that. You see, because my life was changed when I met an Australian uh, teacher who came to our school and she literally showed me that you can be, do and have a happier existence. So in life, we are going to need a lot more other people that can show us how to actually, um, you know, do certain things within our business. So that is my role, um, you know, as a marketing strategist and advisor to just really hold your hands so that I can help you to successfully generate, first of all, visibility, then demand, and then growth, um, you know, for your business. And then I just consult and help you improve that positioning and strategy so that you can create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And, um, you know, I don't necessarily just do this for myself, even though, um, you know, I've been around for a bit. I've worked with numerous other um, industries and businesses. So I have a knack of what actually needs to happen in order for you to continuously create, um, you know, diverse recurring revenue streams so that you can increase your profitability. Okay. So you might think, oh, this might not work for my business, but at times you might actually, um, you know, be wrong. What I will hopefully um, help you to do is reach a profitable new markets that are already existing within your business. And you might not have known um, that it is possible. So if you allow me, I will actually start looking at, um, first of all, the low hanging fruit of what you are already doing within your business right now. Okay. So if you have a business and you're not offering subscriptions, okay, if you have, um, you know, um, people that are already paying you on a month by month basis, I want to encourage you to offer products or services on a subscription and membership basis. Because once you start having people subscribe to you, you no longer have to worry about where your money is going to be coming from. I kid you not. Yesterday, I was actually just, um, you know, um, um, you know, sitting with my kids and uh, playing with them. And I got a notification that I had actually been paid money from a client that I hadn't even spoken to for a while. So if people are on a subscription, they actually honor their dues to make sure that they're actually, um, you know, paying you on time. And, you know, if people are getting value from what you're creating, you literally can create a recurring revenue stream. And then you can actually start, um, first of all, you know, planning in a way that is, um, you know, conducive to your business. You know what I mean? Because this could be, Maybe you could have a monthly or an annual fee um, for access to exclusive content, to exclusive services, or to exclusive products that you might have. So you might think, how can I create a membership from what it is that I'm doing? Even an accountant can create a membership. You know, there's people that just come to you for tax purposes. You can actually start, um, you know, putting those people into maybe a group um, uh, advisory session, and then they pay monthly for that access. So there's so many other ways that we can create subscriptions with, um, you know, the clients that we already have without even going out to search for other clients. And once you now start connecting with these people, what you also need to do is to create product bundles. What I mean is if you have maybe one or two services that can be put together into a bundle, what you do is you're giving a one-stop shop to your clients because bundling complementary products or services together can actually, um, you know, allow you to discount those services because you know these people are going to be getting more from you. And the more that you are selling to your clients, the better it is for them. And it makes it easier for them to actually get value from the products that you're selling them. So this can actually encourage your customers to purchase multiple products from you and uh, from your business. And it actually then increases the overall lifetime value of that customer. So if you do coaching, right, people are always looking for health, wealth, and uh, maybe relationships. If you know a thing or two about that, find out what your customers want, and you can actually buy, uh, bundle that into one, um, you know, uh, big offer that they can actually take from you in a way that will make their lives a whole 
lot better, okay? And once people start buying from you, you know, it's easier to sell to people that have already made a, a purchase from you than it is to sell to newer people, all right? So you want to make sure that you're offering add-ons or upgrades, okay? When you offer an add-on or upgrade, you already you already have somebody's credit card information in your uh, CRM or whatever uh, uh, customer uh, service, um, uh, customer relationship management tool that you might have. Okay, so instead of you um, going out to look for cu more customers, you can just go to your own customers right now and say, "Hey, would you like fries with that?" Okay, because when people come to you, they only show up with something that's on the surface level as a problem that they want you to solve. So if you really sit down with them, you dig deeper into what it is that they're looking for. They're always, always, um, you know, underlining problems that you can solve as an entrepreneur or as a business person. So if you provide additional features or services for an extra fee to your customers that have already purchased from you, you not only are going to increase the opportunities that you're getting money from them, but you're also really making sure that these people stay loyal to you because if they are going to um, maybe uh, stop purchasing one product, they still have three or four more other products that they need to uh, take away from you. And we call it the Telstra effect, especially here in Australia. When somebody has already subscribed to a telephone company, it's very hard for them to then move on to another company. And you can see this in terms of Apple and Samsung. If you notice right now, if you're already an Apple person, um, you know, you would not even li listen to anything that has got um, uh, to do with Android. Okay. So this actually saves you a lot of advertising because these people have already, um, you know, marked their line in the sand to say, this is how I'm going to show up. This is who I'm going to be working with. And you just happen to have the products and services that are um, helping them solve their problems. And then pretty much after that, you want to make sure that um, you're developing digital products, okay? So these digital products can be courses, can be eBooks, can be software that can be sold separately without the need for you to physically be available, okay? So if you look at um, the screen right now, I'm gonna be offering you this digital product for you to download a little bit later on, all right? So be prepared for you to scan the QR code that's coming so that you can get this digital product. It's something that I'm offering without me having to sit there, write down your email, write down your phone, and um, you know all your other information. So if you develop digital products from what you're already offering, you be sleeping at night while other people are actually consuming your content. And the more they're consuming your content, the more they get to know, like, and trust you. And we all know that people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. So digital products actually help you leverage um, you know, a lot more time and you can reach many audiences. And I can understand uh, Rose's audience is probably international right now. And you will be able to actually start engaging with my work and my services at your own time, at your own pace. And if it works for you, hey, we might actually end up going on a conversation. And it is not something that I would have done, but it's the leverage of a digital product that um, you, know, you would have um, given to your customers, okay? And also, I don't know if there are any questions, uh, Rose, in, 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 in where we are so far. Do we, do we have well, any questions? I have lots of questions. <laughs> how did you how do you um you know formulate these digital products and i know that you've got a workflow that um i absolutely love and how you map out um you know how people can get uh profit while they're sleeping i uh, absolutely love that that uh, that funnel that you have it's absolutely so 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 one thing that normally happens is rose i would ask you a question what is it that you might be struggling with right now okay you don't have to answer me but a lot of us have that thing all right if there's something that you're struggling with right now guess what that is that is a gift because if you're struggling with something and you're finding and looking for people solutions and things for you to actually um you know uh, get rid of that problem, that means maybe 99% of the population or the population of your clients actually has that problem. Okay. So while I was trying to um, 
um, you know, come up with the slides here. I actually remembered that you help people with slides. And I was trying to tinker with, <laughs> with Canva and I don't even know if my slides are showing there or not. But at the end of the day, what, what, what you need to do is when you are facing a problem or when you're facing something uh, in, within your business, pay attention of how you are solving that problem. And when you find the steps Document those steps because you can literally create a product for somebody who's also going through the same thing, all right? So if you had a problem in like me putting the slides together, then if I can just trace back, what did I do and what steps did I take? You can literally package that information, either give it away for free or sell it as a product to somebody who's also going through the same thing, all right? So within your business, there are certain things that you take for granted. You and me talking like this and not having seen you for months and showing up as if we were just talking before is a gift. Not a lot of people can do that. So if you know how to do certain things and you take for granted, just find out what your customers are actually having a problem with and go out and create those baby steps for them. I kid you not, people will thank you for that because we get paid in direct proportion to the value that we bring into the marketplace. And the easier you make other people's lives, the better your life will actually become. Because I think it was Zig Ziglar that mentioned, help enough people get what they want and you too would actually get what you want. So these then digital products will now uh, maybe funnel into your core product. Because sometimes people won't understand what it is that we do, but there's so many ways to skin a cat, okay? I usually use the palm of my hand. You've got five fingers. Each finger has its own specific use, but it's all used to uh, help your palm to grab stuff, right? So sometimes you might just be selling the palm, whereas people just need, um, you know, inlets on how to actually... Um, you know, um, get started on, on, on the process that you're doing. And what that also does is when you give people certain things, it ignites what's called reciprocity. Okay. When you give something, something of somebody, something of value, what then happens is they will try and pay you back for that. I hope I answered your question there, Rose. You did. Yes, perfectly. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. I I've got lots of little uh, digital things, um, you know, how, People can get, you know, emails on their, you know, get 300 subscribers on their email list and and all sorts of things like that. But um, yeah, yeah, you because you have this really great funnel that you have about how um, you help people, and I really you showed it to me last time we spoke, and I yes. think it's an absolutely amazing, amazing. Um, Oh, oh absolutely! I'm going to show I'm gonna, your clients I'm gonna how it. they get how they do stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to be giving it at the end of the the call. So that's <laughs> that's great because I absolutely love that. I think you I think you showed it um, in your last in the last uh, online said, yeah. summit, and yeah, and I think it's really valuable that people know how you can help them by you know using that particular um, graphic chart thing that you have it's it's amazing i love it absolutely i will show it towards the end how much time have we got left now we still have um half an hour ah oh, fantastic then we'll have time to do all of that so Wonderful. one other thing that happens is um leveraging affiliate marketing okay so affiliate marketing happens uh around us all the time even though it has this dirty connotation to it but if you know a service that has actually helped you, okay, and um, a service that you are using and you can recommend it to your clients if they ask. If they have an affiliate program, you might as well use your affiliate link so that you get paid for that, um, you know, that, that referral, okay? It's just simple business, you know? People give you a referral and you pay them a commission for giving you customers. And that's exactly what affiliate marketing is. So if you really open up your mind and look at all the tools that you're using, all the systems that you have within your business, what can you actually encourage your customers to use so that they, um, you know, you can actually get paid for every purchase of that tool that you possibly can have. And that can actually be some a recurring revenue stream that might actually 
um, you know, c- come come by itself, okay? So you can partner with other businesses and actually promote their products or services to your audience. And you can actually earn a commission on each sale and creating new re- revenue streams for your business. Now, can you imagine, um, you know, I just mentioned Canva and if Canva has an affiliate link and he used my link, you know, based on my really world-class Um, you know, presentation that I'm giving you right now, and you want to do the same, guess what? I would then get paid, um, you know, for making that referral because you didn't know about that company up until I mentioned it to you. So look within your product suite, who has got your money, okay? Every product that you're using should be paying you to actually use it. And if you start framing it that way, you're not only helping your clients do more with the products that they you, you are already having, but you're also getting paid in the process, okay? So it's a win, 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 win for everyone involved, okay? And then that's it's available for every tool that you're using. And if you're not getting paid for that tool, find and use tools that actually have some sort of uh, kickback that you can start using in order for you to have some recurring uh, revenue that comes uh, along your way. And in the same token, if you can also create a referral program for your product so that other people can also get uh, some sort of a revenue stream uh, from the work that you're doing, okay? So you wanna encourage maybe your existing customers, um, your existing network, to actually refer new customers to your business and you can offer an incentive such may, such as maybe a discount or credits for each successful referral, which can actually help you create a recurring revenue stream, okay? Because right now, if I didn't know Rose, she wouldn't have put me on her platform. This is a proper referral program. I should actually be giving her a commission for every sign up that might then happen based on the transactions that might happen, um, you know, within this business. And it helps her. It helps everybody involved. You get exposed to good information. Nobody's stealing from anyone, even though we all feel dirty about getting a kickback for a certain product that we're already using. Hey, other people are doing it and other people actually run their business predicated on the tools that they are in an affiliate program with. So if you can create one for yourself, that will also be an amazing thing that you can do for yourself. Okay. And then one thing that maybe can be a little bit complicated, but it's something that you literally can um, consider is licensing your processes. All right. So maybe you've got um, systems that you've created around your business. Maybe you've got um, standard operating operating procedures that you give to your VAs. So many people are looking for those business in a box type solutions. You can literally clean them up, make it super easy for people to use, and you can literally license them out to people so that they can enjoy using them, all right? So you can consider licensing your products, your intellectual property uh, to other businesses and individuals for a fee. And this obviously requires some sort of legal understanding or legal background. But all I can say is you are in a position to craft something, create these products that some other people will be more than happy and willing to actually um, explore and, um, you know, use within their business without them having to reinvent the wheel. Okay. So like what, uh, Rose was saying, I have created, um, you know, a, a, a business blueprint that takes you for 90 days. And if you impl- Im- implement any of the strategies, um, you know, that are in, um, what I've just spoken about, you can actually start creating a variety of diverse recurring revenue streams, that will help you skyrocket your profitability. And it's really important to continuously sort of evaluate and adjust your approach as you need to ensure that your revenue streams remain effective and are actually relevant in the market that you're working in, okay? So you might not understand what is actually happening in the marketplace right now, but you know that in the last couple of years, we just went through the biggest um, economic downturn and it's now starting to spill off. There's banks that are um, closing down. Uh, If you're an investor, you'd know interest rates are going up and things of that nature. You wanna be able to, um, you know, weather all those storms 
and be in a position that you will always have enough money for you to run your business, enough money for you to be marketing your business, enough money for you to be showing up for your clients. Because at the end of the day, if you don't have money to continuously market or actually support your business, you're then going to be a statistic or become one of the people that actually close their business. So I really encourage you to start looking into ways that you can create diverse recurring revenue streams into your, um, you know, your business so you can skyrocket your profitability and ensure your business remains 100% bulletproof, even during market downturns, even during global pandemics, even during sweeping lockdowns, because all these things are going to be coming and nobody's going to, um, you know, uh, publicize or, or show us or tell us three months in advance to prepare. Just like what happens during, just like what happened during the pandemic, things just got shut down. And if you didn't have an online presence, if you didn't have some sort of recurring revenue streams, a lot of people didn't come out of the pandemic, um, you know, alive. So I want, I urge you to scan um, the QR code that you can see on your screen right now. And um, if possible, just download that book, read it, find out how you can start creating these diverse recurring revenue streams. Because once you are in a position to do that, you no longer have to worry about money and you now worry about just delivering outstanding results for your clients. And when you deliver outstanding results for your clients, you now have their loyalty for life and they will be with you through thick and thin. And these customers will start singing your praises to their family, to their friends, colleagues at barbecues and even strangers on the bus. I really hope that you take this um, you know, presentation um, seriously and start looking back every step that we've mentioned. OK, just really look at how you can start implementing and creating all of these things. First of all, the subscriptions. Second of all, creating product bundles. Third, you know, upgrading people that are already in your pipelines and then um, developing digital products. And then pretty much after that, leveraging affiliate marketing because the tools that you're already using, somebody is willing to pay you to publicize those tools to your audience, okay? And then once you have done that, create a referral program for yourself as well and start exploring licensing opportunities if you have created uh, systems and processes that other people would want to um, start utilizing. So with that being said, I can't thank you for your time um, and um, energy that you are obviously giving by watching this show today and also supporting Rose uh, in her endeavor to create for and relate to um, you know, audiences around the globe. And I, I still can't thank you enough, uh, Rose, for giving me this opportunity today. Prosper, it's my pleasure, honestly. I can't, um, I, I love uh, just talking with you. I love being in your proximity because you just, you just light up the whole world. You do, you're just an amazing person. <laughs> Absolutely. So maybe we can take a couple of questions um, yeah, if there are any, just so that we can see if um, what we were saying really uh, resonated with a few people and maybe I can, yeah, expand on a few of the topics. But this this is something that we all need to be looking into because this whole ebb and flow uh, false starts that we have as entrepreneurs, that's why we become statistics that we never go past the three-year mark is because if you don't have revenue coming into your business, you won't even have the energy to show up, um, you know, like 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 what Rose and, and I are possibly doing right now, because you'd be thinking, oh, I'm going to be caught out. People are going to notice that I actually don't have enough money or I'm not making any money. And all of those things start um, stopping you from, you know, doing your good to the world. So it is imperative that when you literally let go of the money issues that happen within your business, your business will literally start taking care of itself. And you can actually start in introducing people, systems, and uh, possible partnerships, you know, because you're not showing up um, with a hungry face and trying to get the most out of every opportunity that you get. People don't like things like that. No, they don't prosper. And um, it's unfortunate, but yeah, that's what happens in, in, in business. Um, it, things don't always go the way we want them to. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's disheartening sometimes because um, 
yeah, it's just it's not the way we want stuff to go. But you know, just perseverance. Be be like Rose. Be like me. Just keep persevering, and um, <laughs> and good things will happen. Absolutely, absolutely. I really, really appreciate this opportunity. And um, yeah, if there's any other time that I can come through and work with your platform, that will be amazing. Yep. Well, the, um, I'm sending out invitations to the, the the podcast very soon, so hopefully you'll come back on and uh, and third time. <laughs> <laughs> I love having return guests. Oh, uh, absolutely. Well, you, you know what it says when people keep returning back to your house, it means there's a good host involved. Can you imagine if you were not being hospitable? Why would anybody want to um, c- keep coming back and, and spending time with you, Rose? So oh, I, I can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for being with me today. Um, If you were to give someone words of wisdom, what would they be? You see, at the end of the day, we're here to leave, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute, right? So for you to be able to live your best life, you need to learn as much as possible from those that have been uh, in the places that you've been. And once you have done that, we call it send the elevator down, okay? All right? Contribute to others that also might be um, looking to get to where you are right now. So the more you learn, obviously, the more you're going to be able to have more to give. And I really encourage people to really start doing that, okay? Yes, we want to build businesses. We want to um, grow and everything else. But most of the time, limited amount of information um, is what actually stops us in our tracks. So what you are doing, providing experts um, with content and information is priceless. Okay. So to the people that are uh, watching and listening right now, keep learning. All right. The more you learn, the more you earn. And um, yeah, it's people like Rose that actually elevate um, others to be, do and have a happier existence and be like Rose. That's all I can say. Prosper, thank you so much. I when I when I'm in Melbourne, I'm going to come down and share a whiskey with you or ten. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do love my whiskey. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you so much, Prosper. Absolutely.